guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, uh, we're just going to go outside and look for cage decor. Uh, you know, just the stuff in his cage, his, uh, his logs, his rocks. Uh, I personally don't need any more for his cage right now, but, you know, I'm just going to uh, get some for you guys to show you what you should get. And right now, Creature's just eating. He's just eating his, um, his early lunch or his dinner. He just wants to eat right now. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna go look for that stuff. Um, uh, I'm gonna target fossils because they're really great. They add some decoration, uh, to your cage and it just adds a nice little look to it. So, we're gonna get right into that. Uh, I'm gonna continue feeding Creech off camera and let's go. Well, guys, you're probably wondering why I'm not outside looking for fossils. And we tried to go outside, but it's November and it's way too cold for Creech. He just did not like it. I mean, I thought it would be uh, like semi-warm or at least an okay temperature, but it got so bad to the point that we couldn't even be out there for a few minutes. So what we're gonna do instead is we're just gonna show you some things that you could have for uh, decor in your bearded dragon or reptiles cage. So right here, uh, hopefully you can see this. I can't see uh, the camera angle, but this is just a fossil of a seashell that we actually found outside. Here, I'll put it closer to the camera. Hopefully you can see that now. Um, and it's just a pretty cool rock that you can put in. Uh, what you put in, it doesn't have to be fossils. It could be other rocks. It just, it just makes it uh, look a bit nicer. So here we have another fossil. Uh, this is part of a prehistoric moth. And this here, I believe, is part of an ammonite. Uh, you know, they lived uh, before the dinosaurs. But hopefully you can see this. Uh, if you can't, hopefully I can adjust so for my next videos you guys can. But these are just uh, two examples of really cool fossils that you could put in your cage. Now, for sticks, in the back here I have a huge log. That's perfect for Creech because it's big enough for him. And the other one was one he actually used for um, when he was a baby in his smaller cage and that I still use for him now but that's not his main log that he uses he'll climb over it but it's more like a, it's just a smaller thing and so you can use all these different types of decor uh, if you're doing a bioactive setup, you could probably even find plants that you can get from a store and put those in there. Right now, I think I have more of a naturalistic setup, uh, not a bioactive. But those are just some things that you could do. And if you're getting a plant or, you know, those things, you should probably wash them off just so they don't have any um, fertilizer or anything that can harm your animal. I might do a video on it in the near future. But, oh, I was also going to say, thank you guys for 30 subscribers. We just got there today. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're watching this, please subscribe. It helps the channel so much. But anyway... I looked at my channel analytics, and unfortunately, 
73% of you that are going to be watching this video are not going to subscribe, which is pretty unfortunate. Only 22% are subscribed. But if you like this video, just like and subscribe. It really helps uh, this channel out. And so, also, you guys don't have to go and get your rocks and sticks like I do outside. It's probably better. Well, it depends. I can do a video on this because, you know, if you go out there and get it, it's free. You just have to uh, take some soap and water and wash it off to make sure there aren't any parasites, any bugs, anything that can harm your reptile. Um, or who knows, you may be watching this and you have a bird or a chinchilla or something. You can uh, probably use it for those things too. Um, I don't have a bird or a chinchilla or a rabbit, so I wouldn't be an expert on that. Uh, but that's just something you want to think about. And there might be some better uh, things to get in an actual pet store, like the logs and the rocks. Um, as far as the rocks go, they're probably the same. And for the sticks, they have driftwoods and other things that is going to be perfect. Uh, so basically... There's different perks to each one, but that is it for today's video. Creech, Creech, can you calm down so they can at least see you before the video ends? Can you, can you calm down? Okay, finally. So, that is it for today's video. Please like and subscribe so you can see more of my videos and you know when my next video comes out. Because if you don't subscribe, uh, like 73% of you aren't, then you can't know when my next video comes out. And that'll be unfortunate because you can't see more of this crazy lizard. And he's just so awesome. You kind of have to see him. I mean, look at him. He's so cute. So anyway, that is it for today's video. Please like and subscribe, like I said. Turn on the notifications so you know when my next video comes out. Put what you liked from this video in the comment section down below. And we'll see you next time.